Well, that took a minute. So I was like on two minute pause to try to get this live stream started. So uh, I did one earlier and I hated it. So I'm starting all over again. By the way, this is a DLZ creator. I love this thing. It is just plain awesome. I did a little setup today that has three microphones. Let me tell you what mics we got here. Two of them are from Mackie. So an EM-99B. The other one is an EM-89D, which I think it just stands for dynamic. And this one's broadcast. Uh, it's pretty cool. So far, it's been pretty awesome. The star of the show is our DLZ creator. Now, everybody and their grandmother's done a video on this, so please let me join in on the crowd because I think it's pretty awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell you the third microphone. The third microphone is just in here to test out condenser microphones. So one of the more popular condenser microphones lately is the AT2020. Uh, as we all know, it's a pretty good mic for a hundred bucks. It gets the job done and it really does get the job done. Now, that being said, I'm going to talk about the advantages of this system. Matter of fact, let me go over here and do some settings. So in the channel, I'm going to go over the setup. And as you can see, I am sparking. And I do mean spiking there for a moment because I like to get loud. And that was not the way to get loud. Put a little bit more. Little juice back into it, but I don't need it to be like blowing people's eardrums out. Because I tell every people all the time, when you're online, you can hurt people's ears. And uh, I know that hurting people's ears is not the way to go. Why are we talking about the DLZ creator? Because I'm excited about it. Plainly put, if you're an audio engineer, I'm going to spotlight myself for a moment. If you don't like my face, then just listen to me. If you're an audio engineer and you're looking for a small, simple package that does everything you need to do from live stream to NDI hookup, if you're going to be doing PTZs, to multiple applications of audio, meaning buses, in-room audio, and the such, this is the unit to use. Now, I know it's a podcaster unit. So yes, originally it's for podcasts and we will be doing a video on podcasting with it and it is fine for podcasts. Matter of fact, I think it's really excellent for podcasts. This gives you so many easy ways to use audio. It's ridiculous. You can use the audio from your computer. You can use the audio from a cell phone. And you can record any like little pad things here. So let me show you that. On here, there's a whole bunch of these little like, uh, you know, different sounds and things you can put on it. Did my phone freeze? Okay. So I'm using a phone to videotape this portion right here because, well, I'm not going to set up another camera and a whole bunch of other equipment just to show off a DLZ. That's just ridiculous. That being said, this right here is amazing. Plain put, it's amazing. This unit, this one, it's replacing four or five different mixers for us, which is insane. We've been using the Zoom L8s, Zoom L20s. We are going to be picking up an Allen and Heath CQ18. We already have an M32. This will most likely replace, oddly enough, the M32 during our PTZ camera work because we already have an Ethernet network set up for it. This does NDI. Grab the phone, drive people nuts. NDI. And the other ability to route NDI. I like that. Because we can just come in with Ethernet cables. Oh, yeah, that just looks terrible for an angle. Let's get that right. We can come in with Ethernet cables and have a great show. It also lets you record multiple channels, so multi-track with a micro SD card or USB drive, which is kind of cool. You can do both of that. Pre and post. And I do mean pre and post. 
So if you want a clean, clean slate out of this, go ahead. Bypass all processing. Bypass, you know, the post. Bypass the auto ducking and one tap recording. You know, you just do all that. Uh, it really makes it easy to control. Also, going into your computer. This one can be either a left and right track, which is what I got the setup right now, or you can do a left and right track all the way to the 13 or 14, which is pretty dang awesome. I love the way this thing works. Uh, hold on a second. Let me put this up here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it, Blue. Uh, yeah, if you're a gamer, let's go into that. If you're a gamer, let me let me tell you. Appreciate you doing that. If you're a gamer, this is the way to go. This bad boy is the way to go. You can throw all your effects in here. You can throw all the stuff that you would like to do, showing, you know, appreciation to people with like a sound effect. Let me see if I can throw a sound effect in here real quick. <laughs> okay. I didn't know which one it was. So you got to give me a break here. Uh, I just, let me see. Where is this? Oh, sensor bleed. Let's do that one. So you like, if you want to beep out something like some cursing, there you go. Easy to do. Everybody knows that one. Um, so just one of my favorite things about it. Oh, that's your blue. Oh, that's your channel name. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Anyone who is on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, which is where I'm putting all this at, subscribe to this guy's channel or her channel. I'm not sure if it's woman or man, but still subscribe to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, back to what we're talking about here. You can do a lot with the audio. You can adjust it, process it, change the names, put some cool logos with it, add delays, ver reverb, pan, all that stuff. It does come with effects. So if you're someone who wants to add effects to your audio, do it. Uh, you got delays, you got decay, low pass, reverb. In the delays, you can add in feedback, low pass, delay levels. On the media side, you can just put whatever you want in a micro SD or in a USB thumb drive. And that's pretty cool because you can just play that during there. Another thing that most people won't know on this is you can choose your audio sources on here. So, for example, in channel 9 and 10, which is going to be the key one here, you have the choice of doing NDI, the disc that's on there, and the Bluetooth. And you can do it as a mix minus two. And the mix minus on this is simple. You just press a single solitary switch, and there you're a mix minus. There are people who spent years trying to learn how to do mix minus, and, well, there you go. Simple. Easy. Uh, last but not least in my quick little overview of this, uh, system is utilizing multiple microphones. And I'm going to be done with this in about two minutes. So this could be simple. I'm going to switch a couple microphones and just show you how easy it is to use. Uh, you can see my fingers right here. I'm going to drop that slider. Hi y'all. How you doing? So we're going to this one. Easy peasy. Condenser microphone. Now, as you can hear, that picks up every single thing, but the sound is great. If you were in a soundproof room and you set this up very well, this would be the best sound out of all of them. Uh-oh. I guess I gotta go. The phone's ringing. Thank you for watching. Peace.